So today I'm going to be reviewing the Baron Fig Archer Pencil. Uh, this is a company out of New York. Uh, they started with a Kickstarter campaign for their notebooks um, and they moved on to starting to make uh, pens and fortunately for us, pencils as well. So uh, go ahead and keep swiping to see some of the more specific notes and thoughts I have on the Baron Fig Archer Pencil. I've compiled a couple of tests here on the uh, Baron Fig Archer. I'm doing this on a Baron Fig Vanguard. Uh, just a couple of tests, um, erasing a word. You can see it erases fairly well. Uh, this is a couple of back and forth on some shading. This is just one pull down. Smudge test holds its lead pretty well on paper. So um, it's a good everyday pencil. It's HB. I put firm just because it feels a little bit more firm than the average HB. Um, but yeah, average uh, HB pencil, maybe a little bit on the firm side on the Baron Fig Archer, um, but a great everyday pencil. So to kick off our first category of um, reviewing lead stability and clarity, I would give it a one out of two. Um, I like it because uh, it has a little bit of feedback on the paper. I really enjoy um, using it and writing with it and I kind of like a tactile feedback with my pencils but I know that a lot of people don't really like that so I think the lead could have been made a little bit smoother um, that's why I put it as a one out of two you may like it or dislike it more or less depending on your taste um, I like it enough with the feedback but could have been made a little bit smoother maybe in terms of the hardware and construction Two out of two. Uh, the finish is great. I have carried this um, in my pocket, uh, in my pencil box, in my bag. There's no scratches over time, as you can see. Uh, maybe a couple of like little bumps and dents here and there, but really, I mean, honestly, this has been carried in my pocket before. It looks great. Paint job is fantastic. Totally seamless between the body and the ferrule, as you can see, and the end cap. Uh, wonderful job on this. So um, maybe a possible one out of two for some special edition cores. I have not had an issue with cores being centered, but they do have some special editions that people have mentioned. Sometimes the cores can be a little bit off on those productions. So um, I give it a two out of two, maybe a one out of two for some of the special editions. When it comes to the accessibility and transport category, I would give it a two out of two. Uh, it's very light, it's very durable. It's very easy to carry. Um, yeah, it you can throw a pencil cap on this, throw it in your pocket, uh, put it in your hat, put it behind your ear, and you're gonna forget it's there. Um, that's the first thing you notice when you pick it up, very light. And with that durable uh, construction, uh, it can go anywhere with you, um, no matter what. So yeah, I would say two out of two on the accessibility and transport category. When it comes to the aesthetics, uh, I give it a two out of two. I'm a huge fan of these darker colors, these matte colors. I think the branding looks good. It's just very minimal with the company name on one side, the logo on the other. On some like, you know, Japanese pencils and European pencils, you'll see like this whole line of the title and what kind of grade the pencil is. You'll even see barcodes. This just looks good, very minimalist, uh, comes in this great uh, box. It just shows you that Baron Fig cares a lot about um, more than just uh, the products, but also the packaging that they're coming in. Um, really great design, really great quality here. Um, yeah, I, it's fantastic, and I would absolutely recommend uh, picking up these pencils. They just look so good. On the hand feel, um, I would give it a two out of two. Uh, it feels great in the hand while you're writing. It's very light. There's no eraser on the end cont to contend with the balance uh, while you're writing. Feels centered. Uh, feels good. Um, so, yeah, I would I would say it's great in the hand feel. Um, it really is kind of surprisingly light. You pick it up and you you just are surprised by the weight of it. And um, yeah, feel feels good while you're writing. Feels good in the hand. In addition to the standard Archer, Baron Fig has also uh, released some limited editions in the past. Um, so you can go and check those out if you're looking for maybe a different colorway, different style. Um, they're usually designed around a theme in mind um, and they do use alternative colorways. And they are the same price as the standard Archer, $15 a dozen. Uh, so you can check those out as well if you're looking for something a little bit different. 
So yeah, that's my review of the uh, Baron Fig Archer. Um, I would recommend go picking up uh, a dozen. Um, you can get it on baronfig.com, their website, or cwpencils.com. Those are the two places I would recommend picking them up. I do have a link in my bio to baronfig.com, and uh, it is a link that if you use it and purchase something, uh, it does kick a little bit back towards me. So uh, if you'd like to support Tools of Note, support me in making these things, uh, go ahead and use the link in my bio. Otherwise, honestly, just go on baronfig.com. Uh, if you have the time, take a look at their products. They're really great. Uh, whether or not you buy um, an Archer or something else, I think they're a great company that you should support. So thanks for tuning in and uh, hope you like this review.